What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel, man. Salute. Welcome back to Scary Hours, man. This is the Noob's Top 5, 5 Scary Videos of Ghosts and Creepy Mysteries, bro, that we about to check out. So now you know the rules. If you don't know the rules, you're new to the channel. First and foremost, make sure you hit the subscribe button, man. Do that. You good? All right, now here's the rules, man. Uh, for the ladies, man, make sure you got a completely darkened house. Make sure everything is closed, shut off, quiet. You're up under the covers, it's dark, and you got the sound cranked up, all right? I don't know why I do that. Uh, don't ask me. Uh, it's, uh, it might be weird to you, but it's not weird to me. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> and now, uh, fellas, you just watch the video, man, and enjoy, all right? Now, listen, let's get to it. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Here we go. Top 5 Scary Videos of Ghosts and Creepy Mysteries You Decide YouTube user Graham Evans frequently seeks out and films historic locations in his hometown of Denby, North Wales. The town dates all the way back to the 13th century, with one of its oldest buildings being the North Wales Hospital, which served as a mental Always a hospital, right? I know I wasn't the only person thinking of it. You'd just be like, ah! Hospital. Hospital's creepy. Next time you end up in a hospital, which I'm not praying you go to the hospital or anything like that, but I'm just saying, should you so happen to go to the hospital, you're going to think about this in the back of your mind of how creepy it can get in the hospital at night. Asylum for almost 150 years. Graham visits the abandoned hospital to capture some footage of the decaying interior. However, that's not all he captures. To your left. How you not see him standing there, bro? You about to make me mad. Look to your left. Left. It looks like someone is simply standing in a small open room nearby. And then you ain't even hear him move to leave, bro. That's another thing. Like, he he light move. Like, he <laughs> he moving swiftly. But when Graham pans back, there's no one there. Some YouTube viewers think it's a bizarre apparition facing away from Graham. Some think it's a man just standing and watching. And others think it's simply an optical illusion caused by the dark square on the wall. But... What do you think? Let that's a person, bro. You cannot tell me that's not a person. Let me know in the comments. Now, this next video comes from a very odd source. It was originally part of a commercial ad campaign for the travel website Expedia, but a very observant Reddit user named Iano LOL immediately spotted something very disturbing in the video. Take a look. probably didn't notice anything, and neither did I at first no. glance. But watch again, keeping a close eye on the lady in black. Did you see it? No. We'll take one last look with a close up on the lady in black and her reflection on the wall. In the reflection, Whoa. she seems to take a look toward the man in the video, but her actual body seems to remain completely still. What the f Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not catch it neither time, bro. I was like, what are y'all talking about? What the f Yo, Expedia. Now, this could be an optical illusion or possibly an editing mistake, but the fact that everything else around her seems to move normally makes it especially creepy. Reddit user Baked Potato posted a bizarre video to the R Ghost subreddit. It's crazy. He says that years ago, his friend Kim toured the haunted Limp Mansion in St. Louis, Missouri. Kim recorded a video on her phone that caught something chilling.
the f- Now, here I'll quote someone quoting me from this very video's Reddit comments. Did you see it? A shadow figure in a hat seems to appear right in front of a brightly lit window. But when she pans back, nothing there. What makes this video even more compelling is that it was filmed on a very old phone, and Reddit user Baked Potato says that the video can't even be removed from the original. Like, stop right there. I just wanted to pause it for myself. What is that? A cell phone. So it would be very hard to fake. But is it a ghost caught on camera or an optical illusion? Or, to quote another Reddit poster on this thread, is this real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You decide. <laughs> Separation anxiety. Whew. Paranormal explorer and YouTuber Ricky Velasquez and fellow ghost hunter Nighty travel to a remote location to do a live ghost hunt on YouTube. The building they investigate appears to be a long abandoned log cabin with missing floors and crumbling ceilings. About 18 minutes into their live exploration, they begin to hear something. <laughs> Ricky and Nighty can hear a low humming sound that almost sounds like the voice of a woman. But it's not over yet. <laughs> Seriously creep I, I just realized how sick I am. Like I like got like all up in my seat. Then I started smiling out of nowhere, like, what is wrong with me, man? I like really enjoy this stuff. I can see. Doubt, but positive that they are not alone, Ricky sets up his Connect no. camera. He asks the ghostly presence to show itself. Toma mi energía para que te puedas acercar. Manifiestate. They watch as what appear to be the terrifying figures of a woman and child holding hands emerge from the pitch black to stare at them. Is that what that was? Like, I'm like, <laughs> how, what am I looking at? I was all over the place. The figures simply. I see it now, though. That does look like two silhouettes. One older, one younger. I don't know if it's mother and child, but I see it now. I, I see it. They stand in the doorway and watch before silently disappearing back into the darkness. When Ricky and fellow ghost hunter Nighty reach the area and look around with their flashlights, they don't find anything that could explain what they and their live audience just witnessed. Determined to find an explanation, Ricky continues using the Kinect camera. I guess that's where I'm different because I'd have been running the other way, like back to my vehicle the other way. Now, if you're wondering in this clip why Ricky runs to the opposite side of where the figures seem to disappear, that's because Ricky's Kinect camera is mirrored from what you see in real life. 
So on the Kinect, when it looks like the figures are moving towards the right side of the screen, they're actually... I figured that. I figured that. That's why I ain't say nothing. But normally I'd be like, why you didn't turn to the right? Moving to the left. <laughs> so, what do you think? Real or fake? You decide. You can watch more of this creepy investigation over on Ricky Velasquez's YouTube channel. <laughs> That's creepy. Caught on camera. Talented photographer Martin Navejas is not a ghost hunter or urban explorer. He sometimes takes artistic photos of models in abandoned locations and records the photo shoots for his YouTube channel. If that doesn't sound creepy, he just made you. <laughs> you know, certain people don't need to describe your business. The way this dude from uh, Nuke's Top 5, the narrator, just described Martin's business, man, made it sound super creepy. Like, I wouldn't want to do business with him right now after hearing that. <laughs> but yeah, we take pictures of girls and abandoned places like, nah, now I don't want to do business with him. Martin decides to film a tour of one of his favorite photo shoot locations to show his friends and followers. But the location is an old abandoned decaying church. It didn't go well. Part three of my favorite place to shoot. It's a little dark outside. It's pretty cloudy. It's rained all day today. I'm going to show you guys my favorite place to go. Downstairs in what I call the red room. The red room is the place I go once I'm done shooting for the day. Just to kind of look at pictures, see if I need to retake anything, re-edit anything. I'll show you why it's called the red room. It's pretty cool. When you turn the light off during the day, it's got a nice tint of uh, nice tint of red, I'll show you. A little dark now, but can't see. Come down here, it's peaceful, it's quiet. The shadowy shape of what looks like a man is sitting slumped down in a chair all alone in the dark. Startled, Martin turns off his flashlight, but then he turns it back on again just to make sure. The man is now sitting straight upright. He jumps out of his chair and begins to chase Martin. type of person i wouldn't have cut the light off the first time no i need to see where you at in relation to where i'm at while i'm trying to get out of here no i need to see where you at bro no no i'm not letting you get the drop on me like that no <laughs> luckily martin escapes unharmed so do you think this is a paranormal entity lurking in the abandoned church or just a creepy homeless man. Let me know what you think. Ghosts of all sizes. Mm -hmm. Popular Chinese live streamer Zhao Long, who I've featured in previous top fives, is back in another creepy exploration with one of his friends, Zhao Jin. After a long four hour drive to what looks like the middle of nowhere, the live stream starts with the two friends lightheartedly joking around. Hey, what? However, the fun doesn't last long. As they begin to explore the empty building, things quickly take a turn for the worse. 
，咱俩他妈开车最少得开他妈的四个小时，最少得开四个小时，走。Not a guy, bro. I'd have levitated out of that house. What's <laughs> wrong? What's wrong? Don't leave me. Me, don't leave me. I'm gonna kill you. What's wrong? I might not be hurt, but my pants might be a little bit wet. Did we bring a change of clothes? That's what, that would have been my response. Yeah. Take me on out. Go. After almost getting hit by falling glass, Xiao Long and his friend Zhao Jin still dismiss it as a simple, odd coincidence. They continue their exploration through the dark hallways, but soon get another unexpected interruption. Like that would have been enough footage for the day for me. That's enough footage. We come back another day, or maybe not. <laughs> Oh, oh, hell. oh, hell no. <laughs> they run outside to safety, and Zhao Jin has had enough. After a short break, Zhao Long presses that they should continue their live investigation. Oh, no, no. And they re-enter the building. No. Their live stream. That's the kind of response that'll make us not be friends no more. No, you, you, you extra dumb. No. Viewers spot something truly terrifying. <laughs> Somebody run across that bridge right now, bro. Oh! Did you see it? Yes. The two scared explorers did it. I'm answering him like he could see, like he could hear me. Did you see it? I was like, yes. But after reading some disturbing comments on their live chat, they make a frightening discovery. No see him, but one at all. Are you? What Tony, Maya? Paying attention at all. On a screenshot sent in by one of Zhao Long's fans, a tall, pale figure can be seen staring at them from one of the top windows. What makes this even more bizarre is that when they investigate the area where the creepy apparition was spotted, they realize how freakishly tall it must have been. <laughs> But then things get truly bizarre.
It don't look like there's no door or nothing back there. I'm trying to look hard and stuff like it don't look like there's a door back there though. Mom! I don't know. <laughs> oh, now you wanna run. So yeah! So yeah! <laughs> Some small dark thing seems to appear out of thin air right before their eyes. And then, just as quickly, it's gone. Terrified, they run out of the building and head home. <laughs> you can watch Xiao Long's full live stream ghost hunts on his channel That's on a crazy. Chinese live streaming site. That's the link crazy. is in the video description room for one more. Now in this next video, there's just a lot going on. Facebook user Rick Wade posted a video on his Facebook page with the description, do you see something strange in this video? Hmm. He claims that while there was a wedding party going on downstairs, he could hear a female voice coming from an upstairs bedroom. Strangely enough, the voice seemed to be humming. Intrigued, Rick goes upstairs and takes out his phone and starts recording. When Rick reviews his footage later, he spots two chilling occurrences that he didn't notice at the time. First, what looks to be a small child can be seen in the corner of the closet, standing there motionless. Then, as he pans to the right, we see a quick glimpse of what looks to be the edge of a green dress passing by Rick as he films the bedroom. Rick says that he was alone upstairs and that the closet was empty. The mysterious footage remains unexplained. Thanks for watching. You can submit or suggest. Yo, maybe one day, man, I'll go like haunted house or something like that. I, I don't know. Nah, I'm cool. I just thought about it again. I'm good. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> I'll continue to watch it on Nuke's Top 5 and all that type of stuff like that. Y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe, and stick around. Stay tuned, man, to the next reaction of my piece. Y'all stay solid. Hey.